Hey, Battle Bill here with another video, and today we're gonna get in some more Ultra League Go Battle League battles. All right, had a live set for you guys in the last video, didn't go so well. Ultra League literally ends like the day this video comes out. This will probably come out once Premier Cup starts, so good luck with your first Premier sets. I promise. Tomorrow's video will definitely be Premier Cup battles, but I want to do one more live set with a different team. I was going to go back to Cresselia, Obzagoon, and Charizard, but I had the weirdest brain fart when I put the team together and I put Swampert there. And I know that team's already like gathering popularity, so I haven't discovered anything here, but it's been working pretty well for me. You'll notice my rating has changed quite a bit from the last video. So I'm hoping for the best. Let's have a good live set and let's jump into these battles right now. Oh, also, because I usually forget until the end of the video, but I notice a big difference whenever I put it in the beginning of the video. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Your support's really appreciated and it really helps my channel and just really helps me continue to give you the best content I possibly can. Let's get to these battles. So, like I mentioned, the Ultra League portion of this season is essentially over. There will be the end of the season where all three leagues come back. So, I figured I'd do a live set with you guys. Hopefully, have a little fun, have some positivity, or you get to see me rage some more. It's going to be a flip of the coin. Got the first match here going up against Tato. But I don't want to do too much of a deep dive on a team that, like, once this video comes out, you really won't even be able to use. So, let's just enjoy this. Oh, one thing you'll notice. I've joined the dark side, and you're going to see it right now. I'm running Grass Knot on my Cresselia, so getting frustrated by running into a bunch of other Cresselias with Grass Knot has finally conformed me into what I will call the Zionic way. No, let me stop. I mean, I don't mean that in a mean way, but I... I... Grass Knot Cresselia is pretty OP. Oh, and I got the debuff and a 1 CMP. That's... That's a great start to this first match. Yeah, honestly though, once like, once you go Grass Knot, you can't go, can't go back. Grass Knot and Cresselia... I, honestly, like... Then when I start thinking about it, I, I'm like, I rarely use Future Sight on my Cresselia when I had it. So, like, why not have Grass Knot to really overpower Swampert since it's so popular? And then there, there are a bunch of other water types. I mean, like, ooh, I got double debuff. I, I kind of feel bad for my opponent. There are other water types. Like, it's a quicker move to get to than Moonblast. So, if you go up against a Polyrath, you could deal the Grass Knot. Uh, I don't know if that's technically more energy efficient. But then there's also Lapras, so you could deal super effective damage there. Uh, what else is there? There's other Pokemon. There, there's, there are a lot of waters. We run into Blastoise. I know you want. I, I realized after I lost the matchup against the Blastoise that you want to go for Future Sight on it. But like going for Grass Knot would definitely make that situation a lot easier. Uh, I'm gonna swap into Gyarados. I forgot what I wanted to do to be honest because I got onto such a tangent. I should have swapped way faster than that. That was a really slow swap. What I'm gonna hope for is because honestly, when I had this Obstacle and Gyarados matchup. I shield no matter what because of the fact that even if they bait, it still takes a while for them to get back to a Hydro Pump. So I'm going to shield no matter what, and I'm just going to hope that my opponent doesn't want to bait because then I can farm down. If they do bait, I'm probably just going to end up throwing the next Night Slash. If they throw the Hydro Pump, then I'm 100% committing to this counter down. Let's see how they decide to play it. They are farming up a bunch. Hydro Pump takes me out. Crunch barely does any damage. But if they throw a crunch here, they'll definitely get to another crunch. Hydro Pump, love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. I don't care. Have my shield, because now I got all this energy. What was your lead Pokemon? Completely slipped my mind. Was it a Cresselia? It was a Cresselia. <laughs> I forgot I debuffed the heck out of it. How much energy does it have? I lost my entire train of thought. The Cresselia's coming back, but it's okay. I got a Night Slash ready. If you're at a Moonblast and you want to throw it, be my guest. I will not shield. I'm happy I at least got off one of these Night Slashes, so this energy didn't go to waste. Oh, and I get the boost. Ooh, ooh. I wasn't going to do this. I'm going to do it. I wasn't going to do this. This, this is the problem with the boost. I swear to God, if I get debuffed, I'm going to cry. Oh, he brought in a Swamper, and I got Grass Knot in the back on my Cresselia. Oof. All right, well, that was smart on him to swap immediately, just based on the fact that I was going to counter down, and I would have had a bunch of energy. That's one shield. That's one shield. Come I'm not going to beat him to the next move. But, yeah, it's okay. I'm not going to beat him. But I have Grass Knot on my Cresselia. And I have a Swampert in the back now instead of a Charizard. And that, honestly, I think just cha this changes the entire match, essentially. So, what I'm going to do here is... I don't remember where my Cresselia's health is. But I'm going to bring it in anyway. I don't. I, it's definitely not in farm range. Yeah, definitely not. I'm going to go for this Grass Knot. See if he decides to shield or not. I mean, honestly, I should be fine with just going for two Grass Knots here and winning out this match. And then Swampert's in the back. Got the shields. I wonder what he decides. He's going to go for the Earthquake, which I mean, like, 
Good luck. <laughs> Earthquake's not gonna take out my Cresselia. Your switch timer should not run out, but I have no idea where it's at. It's got one Hydro Cannon here. Oh, another Hydro Cannon. Oh, good swap. Good swap. No, good swap. Good swap. Respect it. I could have swore the switch timer shouldn't have been up, but I have no actual concept of time. So <laughs> that's totally understandable. Honestly, I should probably just leave in. I should probably should just left in Crest to eat the Hydro Cannon. But I mean, he goes for what? He goes for. Or, is there a way that I can mess this one up? I don't. I don't think I can mess this one up, to be honest. I'm pretty confident I can't. He does get the two hydro cannons. Kind of feels like I mess. I might mess this one up, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a lot closer than I should be. Um, I'm gonna need my hydro cannon to take you out. Oh, and that timer's almost up. So I'm gonna need this to either take you out or get you in mud shot range. You gotta be like out of energy at this point. I should be okay, and I'm okay. Woo! Because <laughs> you know what the issue is? If you swap on Swamper, uh, like, like not immediately, it gets an energy advantage, and Swamper can flip so many matchups. I mean, we all, we all know how deadly and how powerful Swamper can be. But all right, good start, good start. One zero, almost doing better than last set already. So, whew. Uh, I don't know if there's really anything else for me to talk about with this team. I just love Obstagoon. Obstagoon with a boost, though can really tempt me into messing up some matches. As you saw there, I probably shouldn't have left it in when I did and shouldn't have used the shield. But either way, again, to the second match, yeah, I'm at 28.44. I think last video, I, was, I, I dropped down to like 26, 70 something. So the fact that from one video to the next, I'm already up practically 200 points. I mean, after the set, it could be up a total of 200 points. Uh, let's pay attention. Are you going to swap on my Moonblast? No, you're not. Awesome, good call. I'm not doing that. Now, Tokus is a bit of an issue for this team, which is why I do like running Cresselia as a lead. Oh, they swap now. I'm going to bring in Obstagoon to deal with the Snorlax, because Obstagoon does not want to see a Charmer. Like, Swapper doesn't mind Togekiss that much, but, like, if that Togekiss has shields, then that Swamper does mind Togekiss a lot. Now, oh, I was going to say, how many boosts can I get in a set? <laughs> make a little jingle out of that I'm sorry I'm not I'm not musically creative my apologies but I am at another uh, night slash here I do need to watch out for the superpowers I've been noticing from the Swampert's that I run into that they've been running more superpower than they were in the beginning of the season and it makes sense because like specifically Obstagoon just getting so much popularity this is a body slam that's not great because that was definitely a bait they're gonna get to another charge move that was pretty quick so I mean, I'm not shielding no matter what. This is a super power. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Really good play. Really good play. I'm going to counter you down. So, all right, good. Phew. That was really good play. I feel like, you know, I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like I never land my baits and I get baited all the time. So, honestly, though, that kind of works out. Not uh, having much health left on Obstagoon because now this circus really can't farm me down too much. And now I get the boost. Great. I mean, it still isn't doing me any good regardless. Um, let's bring in Cress. I'm probably going to double shields. Like, I'm probably going to go down two shields to none. Uh, I was waiting for the swap. Oh, this isn't ideal. Okay, so that Togekiss got a bunch of energy. Got to be careful of that. This Excavalier having two shields creates a problem for me. Because I can promise you now, he's probably going to bait me. And I'm going to fall for it. And I'm calling it now because I just always fall for baits. So this is like definitely a drill run, and I'm going to still shield it because, see, like honestly, honestly, I, I, I'm mad at myself because like I can, uh, it's, it's so easy to say the opposite to happen when you do one thing, but at least I got the shield there. They gotta get all the way to the mega horn to take me out. The drill run's not gonna take me out. Oh, I really wanted to get to that. Uh, I might lose this because I fell for the bait that I literally called. Yep, that's a Mega Horn. It's okay, they have no energy now, so I'm going to over farm. One, two, three, going for the Grass Knot. This is what? Probably double resisted. I don't know, it's Bug Resist Grass. I know Steel does. But that Excavalier's health is so low and it's so glassy. Got the shield anyway. No! I don't want you to get to your charge move. Um. This is probably a flamethrower, so I'm probably screwed no matter what here. Because, yep, flamethrower. Yeah, I don't... I should have went for the grass knot again. 
All right, that was just poor play on my part. Honestly, I was probably getting outpaced. Should have went for the grass slot again. I th even though it would have been resisted by Togekiss, it would have taken it out. Oh, he's at a drill run. Wow. Okay, never mind. I didn't know he had that much energy. So, GG. I just figured I was going to get countered down. But that was just obviously poor play on my part, getting baited. That cost me that second match because like, I won lead, but Togekiss is really still strong against this team, even though technically Cresselia on Togekiss is a one lead. But GG, one and one. Let's make sure I do better than one and four. <laughs> All right, let's get into this third match. Going up against Susanna. This, uh, I'm just going to butcher it. I, I am half Spanish. I just, I never learned Spanish growing up. I apologize to everybody that that disappoints. But getting to this next matchup, we got Cresselia on Lapras. And it's nice to have Grass Knot because I think even though it deals super effective damage, the amount of damage it does is pretty similar to, um, this is a Surf. It's pretty similar to Moonblast, but at least Grass Knot you get to quicker. So I'll take that. And then they throw the Surf right away because they're worried about uh, getting Moonblasted and having the attack debuff. But because they did that, it makes it even easier for me to throw this Grass Knot. Like, it's nice that super... Okay, can I, can, I, can I do my Psycho Cuts, please? Thanks. Thanks. That'd be great. I'm wondering why he's not even trying to build up to an Ice Beam. Because they're both neutral. I don't know, somebody correct me in the comment section. Is Ice Beam more energy efficient? I know it's a pretty solid move. Again, the safe call is to go for Surf in case I Moonblast, but he clearly saw I Grass Knotted him, so I'm going to commit to the Grass Knot down. And let's see how he decides to play it. He's going to throw another Surf, most likely. Yeah, I was, I was going to try and click it, but I didn't want... Like, this is definitely another Surf, and I did not want to CMP tie one up over farm here. If that was an ice beam, I'd be like, yeah, do I know how to count? I apparently don't. It's alright, I only teach math for a living. Don't know how to count. It's cool. It's, to it's totally normal. Totally, totally normal. But, uh, grass not here. Let's see if they shield it or not. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I'm happy I over farm. So they have Giratina. I oh. Over farm the perfect amount. Let's go. You love to see it. You love to see it. Moon. Blast. All right, it's cool. Debuff. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got the shield. I got the shield. That was what was important. You got a Registeel in the back by any chance? I would love to see a Registeel. Bring out a Registeel. I would, you want to bring out a Registeel? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. You, you know you want to bring out a Registeel. I have no idea if that's like a team comp that's even being run. Lapras, Giratina, Altered, and Registeel. Oh, it's a Charmer. Did not want to see that. And it is a Charmer because it was a Gramble. So, you know, technically speaking, that's not always a Charmer. Um, being at the shield advantage and Cresselia surviving to, um, Cresselia surviving to the Moonblast was huge because now he can't double shields here and I can get off both of these and force a shield if he wants to get his energy off and honestly, oh, oopsies, okay, uh, can I get to another Hydro Cannon is the question. Yes, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I better be right. Yeah, he's throwing a crunch. Crunch would take me out either way. I'm going to pray I didn't just mess this up. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Hydro Cannon down. Shield advantage. You're going to Dragon Breath my Swapper down, though. And that's our problem. So get Dragon Breath down. Thank you. Swamper did his job. Now the question is... Do I win this one to no shield against Dragon Breath? Where my health is clearly low? I mean, if I get a buff here. Ah, come on. Need a buff. Alright, Dragon Breaths are hurting a lot. I. I really hope. I, if. This all depends because he's gonna. He's over. He's overcharged a little bit. He's gonna get to. This all depends on if I can outpace him to the next charge move, which I don't think I can, but we're about to find out. We about to find out. It's going to be a race to the finish. Probably could have played this a little bit better, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a race. Well, this isn't going to take me out. It's still a race. It's a race to see if Dragon Breath takes me out. Oh, my Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One HP and a dream. All right, I, I'm starting all these weird jingles. They all suck. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just hyped. Just hyped. Just, 
Just, just so close. I'm so hyped. Rank 10. It's in sight. Got my eye on the prize. And that's like... That's like the issue with where I'm currently at. I'm like ending Ultra League on a hot streak after hovering around the 2600, 2700 range for a lot longer than I would have preferred, at least like a week. And now all of a sudden I got some hot and it's going, okay, that fly flew in my eye. I don't know if you guys saw that on camera, but I'm partially blind now. All right, but I got Excavalier lead. Excavalier is still a problem for this team. And I don't have a super hard counter for it like the old team where it had Charizard. But then again, you see all these friggin' Excavaliers as leads. So like Charizard was only doing so much damage. But it's okay because you're gonna bait me. And I'm gonna still shield. Because I fall for every Oh, he didn't bait me. Ha! But I fall for every bait. Don't don't spread that message. Don't tell anybody. I know I'm like putting it out publicly on YouTube, because like, you know, that's obviously genius. But don't tell anybody. I fall for almost every bait, and I never land my own baits. It's really a struggle. But I got the debuff there, and that's clutch. And the question is, all right, that's better. I'm happy you got to it this quickly, because then we would have CMP tied, and I didn't want a CMP tie when I can over farm. Over farm, now go for the grass knots. I am hot, I'm really sweating, and it's late at night, but... I don't exactly. Ooh, up oh, that that take it out. That really didn't take it out. That, that's cool with me. I'll take that. He's got a registeel. I will not take that. I will take a debuff, please, because now I'm down a shield, and that's not exactly ideal. But he cannot. He cannot lock on farming down, which is important to note here. But what he could do is undercharge a flash cannon and then lock on farming down, which would probably be the sm or she, sorry, which would probably be her smartest plan of action here, but she just wanted to take me out, and I'm totally cool with that. You, you take me out, homegirl. Take me out. Oh, uh, no, this is not ideal. Have Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw? No, that's not Shadow Claw. That is not Shadow Claw. All right, GG. This is not ideal. So, you know what? Still did, still doing better than yesterday's video. Gonna be 2-2. Two and two. I'll take a 3-2. Three 3-2 two. Three two is still positive. Still going up. Still going up. But, of course, like before this set, oh, I got a buff a buff but he's got two shields and I don't want to shield any of these dragon claws because like there's a whole register in the back with flash cannons and focus blasts who wants to shield a dragon claw all right well you kind of have to shield here because I got this buff that's gonna maybe clutch me out this match I don't know probably not but like I'm gonna try all right got one shield that's important you want to give me a all right I'll, I don't really need a second buff I'm being greedy now Oh, you know, with a buff, you usually want to commit, but committing to Obstagoon here is not the play. The play here is to get this Night Slash off. The play is to get this Night Slash off. And that switch timer is looking mighty close to being over. So, you want to not... Yeah, shield it. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to land an Earthquake on either one of y'all. I'm going to land an Earthquake on either one of y'all. Be my guest. Swap out. Pull the swap. Love to see it. I would love to see it. Come on. Swap. 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 Pull the swap. No, you don't want to pull the swap? All right. I can't get Dragon Breath down. I mean, honestly, at this point, you know, I'm going to call it now. I'm going to get baited by a flash cannon. And I'm going to be really salty within the next couple of minutes. I'm just calling it now. So when I rage, you know why. How much energy does he have? Flash cannon does not take me out, but I don't have a pair that big. If you know what I'm getting at. Flash cannon does not take me out. <sighs> come on, 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 come on. This does not take you out, but this might get you low enough to actually clutch me this match. Thank you for the night slash boost. <sighs> go, just go. Ah, oh, you just gave up. She just gave up. She just stopped attacking. I don't really blame her. GG. Just went from thinking two and two to three and one. Clinch that positive set. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, we take those three and twos. Three and two, when you're at my rating, brings you up. And when you get high enough, where a three and two is knocking you down points, is when you wait for everybody else to catch up and you don't do any more battles. That's happened to me occasionally. Like I'm, I'm good, but like I'm not that good. Where I'm like always in that situation, but like I'm still pretty, all right. 
I'm all right at this game if I don't say so myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gonna take this three and two. We gonna take this three and two and be happy with it. Oh, I'm ready to see a lead. Uh, I mean, I technically have like two captors in the back, so I don't really know why I'm leaving in Cresselia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to yeah yeah yeah. You throw your energy. You might over farm a little bit, but I hope you. Oh, actually, I I can't count lock ons, so I have no idea where your energy is. But I'm bringing Obstagoon. It's not my real counter. But, oh, that's it. that's it. That's the way. That's it. Yes, yes, I have a chance. I have a chance. Charizard is not a complete counter to Obstagoon because Homeboy needs to land the Blast Burn. But I did say earlier that I suck at not getting baited. So we're going to find out how this goes. And I'm either going to be really upset or I'm going to be stoked because now I can line up my Swamper with the Redisil or at least have the potential to. And the fact that I have the potential to is important here. So, this is going to be a Dragon Cloak. I'm going to be so upset. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just commit Bull Shields. I told you it was a Dragon Cloak. I'm going to just commit Bull Shields. I'm going to just do that. Oh, man, he's ri- <sighs> I said I'm going to commit Bull Shields. Okay. Imagine he double baited. I would have cried. If he would have double baited, I would have cried so hard. Like, you have no idea. Uh, the question is, I don't think I went out the two shield. I think I needed to not fall for the bait that I knew was coming. Because I've only called about three baits happening this entire match. Yes! Nothing's guaranteed, but I will take that. I will take that. Ah, my chest hurts. <laughs> I will take that. What do you have? What else is on your team? Can my Cresselia beat your other Pokemon? I mean, you brought in a Charizard, which technically would be a Cresselia counter. So... I have a feeling, I'm hoping, very hopeful. Can I get the Night Slash off? Yes, let's get you an Earthquake range. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. Now, I just really got to hope that whatever is in the back is something that my Cresselia can beat. I would love to see a Swamper. If you want to have a Swamper back there, it's going to be so upset when it sees my Grass Knot. <laughs> okay, so this match has potential. I need to not throw a charge move at the wrong Pokemon. You know what I mean when I say that. So let's see what he swaps into. Waiting for the swap, waiting for the swap, waiting for the swap. It hasn't swapped. Okay, he's just on a focus blast. Go for it. Be my guest. If I land an earthquake on whatever that other Pokemon is in the back, I might cry on camera. I might honestly cry on camera. All right. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, so the reason why I went for Moonblast, actually, I still. You know, I really gotta do some research. I really gotta go find out which one's more energy efficient. The reason why I threw Moonblast, though, is because I wanted that. That's why I threw Moonblast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One more. It's okay. Get your crunch. You don't get stabbed on crunch. It's okay, Gyarados. You don't get stabbed. See how my whole mood changes from the last video to this one? <laughs> it's like a completely different YouTuber. Alright, uh... Alright, I'm not getting Dragon Breath down. What I have to be concerned about, actually... Well, Swampert has up to an Earthquake, right? 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 I have to be worried about getting farmed down. It's not going to be easy to farm me down, though. So, I'm just going to go for the Moonblast, hope for a debuff. Um, do I just swap immediately and just pull off the little shenanigan? I'm being too quick with it. Oh, no, I can't swap immediately. I cannot swap immediately. I got to wait. I got to wait. Throw your energy. I can swap now, but I'm not trying to swap on the charge move. Okay. So... There's no way, because Registeel just can't store enough energy to have a Focus Blast after this. Of course you undercharge it, you're a smart player. No! Oh, we see him P-Tied. I'm like, why isn't he switching? Alright, this is fine. Actually, does this win me the match? I don't think so, but nope, it does not. I'm not going to be obnoxious. I don't need a whole Earthquake to take out uh, <coughs> the 2 HP that's left on that poor Registeel as I missed that bubble. But it's all good. We got the 4 and 1 vibes, baby. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Mm. I got five more sets today. Premier Cup starts today. I'm excited for Premier Cup. But, like, you see how hot I am right now in Ultra. And I got to make that rank 10 push. So, I got decisions to make. If you follow me on Twitter, check me out on Twitter. It should be right underneath me. You'll see if I hit rank 10 tonight or not. Um, I, I, I think it's doable if I do, like, all the rest of my sets today. And, obviously, continue the rate that I'm currently going at. Well, let's see where this 4-1 gets me. The last set, I went 4-1 also, and it got me up about 30 points. So this is going to get me to 28-82. We take that, baby. We take that. That's rank 10 is possible. Follow me on Twitter. Find out early. 
All right, GG's guys, GG's. So that's my new current team. I didn't discover it, I had been hearing about it, put it in my team options by mistake. But regardless, it's went working and grass not Cresselia, new meta. I'm telling you, when Ultra comes back around, I know towards the end of this season, we've been seeing a lot more uh, Cresselia's or Grass Knot. I think it's the wave, and I know it's going to make a lot of people upset, so sorry in advance. Other than that, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know about the team. Let me know what your thoughts. Always want to hear how you guys feel, and hopefully you guys can use this team when Ultra rolls back around after Master and Premier Cup, because then all three leagues will be back. I'll see you guys in the next video.